How do I create a mosaic effect to blur out somebody's face within your video? No, no, no. no. What you're talking about is how do you create an effect that allows you to completely hide the identity of an informant? You know, such shows like Cops. That's very <laughs> true because everybody out there is going to know how to do this. So there you go. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. If I press play here, Hello, welcome to you have no idea who this guy is. September 11th of and you can even hear the audio is all garbled and everything else. You play it for just another second. Okay. Hello, welcome to 3 Buzz, the daily news for September 11th of 2007. Okay, I'm sold. As always by Side Software. <laughs> and, and unfortunately, I say my name too, so <laughs> not a very good My informant. social security number is. <laughs> Five. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how to create that exact effect so you can hide, I didn't, or excuse me, hide out somebody's face in the background. So all you have to do is grab your footage, which right here is informant. I'll drag and drop it onto my timeline. As you can see, there is nothing wrong with it right now. All I have to do... With the exception of you looking really upset. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, working. So, <laughs> anyway, I grab it. I'm going to uh, drag out to some part of my type line, a timeline. Control-C to copy it. Control-V to paste it. And I'm going to grab this and put it on the second line. So, simply going to drop it up there. Now, this is the exact same footage. I didn't do anything to it yet. Now, what I'm going to have to do is create the box or oval or anything I want, the exact shape that I want to cover my face. So, to do that, I'm going to hit Control-T to bring up a, the titler, and I call this Blur Effect. Okay. And there we go with my sourpuss face. And all I'm going to do is drag this over here a little bit and grab the box effect cover my face, which some would say is an improvement, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have to do. Close it. Now I'm going to grab the blur effect, drag it onto video line three, and I'm going to make it extend all the way out to the end of the footage, and right now I have this little white box. Now, how do we make this a mosaic? Well, what you're going to have to do is grab that second video that you have created, go into your effects, and just type in mosaic and it should be known that it doesn't have to be with mosaic it could be any effect that you want on that particular piece of footage is what's going to show up within that box so i'm going to grab the mosaic drop it on the video too and you'll notice that we already started getting the mosaic effect here and i'm going to open the mosaic and i'm going to up the vertical block or excuse me horizontal blocks up to something like 26 and the vertical up to even number, 26, and that looks pretty good. Nice and blocky looking. That's right. Now, don't go up too high because what will happen is now you just have a pixelated version of someone's face and it's easy to tell who it is. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... So now at this point, you need to basically mask it out so that you're not applying this blur effect to the entire right. video too. Right, because right now it's like, what was the point of that? Exactly. So now what I'm going to have to do is create a mat. I'm going to turn this bl uh, blur effect block that I created into a mat. So I'm going to type in mat, and I'm going to scroll down to, just out of preference, I'm going to use track mat key, drop that onto my video too, and in the track mat key effect, I'm going to choose video three. And boom, there you go. You got this nice little mosaic blurry effect right there and that's pretty much all there is to it now if you want to keyframe it so that you know in case you have someone that's moving around that's something we can look at at a later time right it's it's very simple to do but yes it's something you're going to drop basically keyframes down on the position but now what i am going to do as an added bonus here i'm going to add the audio transition in here okay because you know what, what was the point of doing all this if i can hear your voice i can still recognize you terry exactly so i'm going to type in uh pitch and there we go, pitch shifter. Mine is in mono, but I'm going to grab the stereo one anyway. Drop it here. Scroll down to the pitch shifter for audio effects. And if I play down here. The news for set. Okay, that sounds normal. Go to pitch shifter, go to custom setup, and simply just drop it a little bit. And, and if it doesn't come back, there, right, it goes. there it goes. Of 2007. And there you go. Brought to you as always by Side Effects. And that's how you do it, guys. That's all you have to do to mask someone's identity. Perfect. Thanks a lot, guys.